Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahabashai, who we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well and that continue that continue to teach us truth well and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few okay brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe okay this is just going to be um, a few thoughts you know various topics a few thoughts this is another what post camp lesson and Lord willing this to be edifying the first thing I want to start off on is it's beautiful to receive counsel from the right people because not all counsel is good counsel I'm talking about counsel from the right people okay because you have a shy what does he do he sets up men to tell you things okay and there's going to be times in this truth where you're even going to suffer wrongfully but really you're not really you're not really suffering wrongfully why because we've sinned so even something that seems like all right you're suffering wrongfully it's really it's really not that case but long, long, long story short the heavenly father is not going to get off his throne himself to tell you something okay he's going to use men to tell you yeah. Okay, and it's for what? For a man to be spiritual and to say, you know what? If you believe a man is of the Lord, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you're going to take what he says and you're going to what? Somewhat treasure it and ponder upon it, you know? And that's what called being a spiritual man. You're going to take it into account and really, really ponder upon it. Because um, this is something that was brought to my attention. We know, look, when we're on the highways and byways and we're, we're amongst people, these people are getting more violent, more vicious, more bugged out. So again, bear me just a minute, let, let this car pass, let, let this car pass. These people are getting more bugged out, more vicious. So again, how do we got to be on these roads? We got to be more circumspect, you know? We got to be more circumspect, you know what I mean? more circumspect you know and watching how we deal because you gotta these people they have nothing to lose they're frustrated the, the woman might have broke up with them not to say we don't rebuke look we rebuke and all that but they, sometimes there's a way things have to be done and what do we do we discern spider webs of it wait a minute we discern the spirits you know so we discern the spirit that person's coming in and the scriptures talk about um, a soft answer. <laughs> a soft answer turned away your wrath. It's somewhere in Proverbs. A soft answer turneth away your wrath. So just with a soft answer, you're turning away your wrath. Because all types, all types of shit is happening. People are upset. All types of things are happening. You know, you never know what someone's went through throughout their day. I'm not saying be a softie. I'm not saying that. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying be, being a softie, that's not what I'm saying, okay, what I am saying is a certain way things need to be done, because pe these people, look, 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 these people are crazy out here, they won't fool to do you anything, they ain't got nothing to lose, they ain't got nothing to live for, <laughs> you see, you understand what I'm saying, so us knowing that, we need to operate, in a particular way you know wisdom okay what does it say in Matthew 10 and 16 um, for behold I send you forth as what sheep amongst wolves so again if we're sheep amongst wolves wolves have an advantage over sheep and everybody out here is a wolf everybody so just know when you're out here every single day the people are looking to devour us 
this this how this is how real it is. Okay. The people are looking to devour us every single day. Okay. Why? Because they're wolves. <laughs> so us being a sheep, we're very what's the word? We're vulnerable. Very and I'm not I'm not afraid to that. Yeah, we are vulnerable. The scriptures say that. Okay, so now what, what else does it say? It's like, yeah, what why is us but we are why is a serpent harmless as dove? But that's the advantage we got. The wisdom is the advantage. Not the physicalities of things, being able to throw punches. Obviously, I'm not saying that if if obviously if someone's getting up in trying to do you harm, obviously you defend yourself. What I'm thinking about in terms of just teaching the words. We use wisdom. Words can calm. See, a man of wisdom, he can calm someone down. He can stop something from happening that could have turned into a really, really dangerous situation. By what? By wisdom. By talking. By the scriptures. Not everything needs to be physical. Not everything needs to be carnal. Because how are we taking down this man's kingdom? It tells you in what Second Corinthians what? 11 and 4, I think it is. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. <laughs> so, guess what? This is not a carnal battle. This is spiritual. This is all spiritual. But mighty. Okay. For the most high, to the pulling down of strongholds. So, them strongholds. What are them strongholds? Them barriers. Them lies. This system. How are we pulling it down? Are we pulling it down by gathering arms? Are we are we pulling it down by <laughs> gathering what? Wearing army fatigues and gathering a black militia? No. Because that's another thing as well. You don't really want to be wearing army fatigues and pushing this word. What are you playing at? Because what, what's the image you think of straight away when you see that? A man with a Bible in his hand has got army fatigues. You're just, you're just going to associate him with what? One of them black militias. But again, there's been, there's been men set up to do that as well. Okay? But again, we want to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Okay? And we have the advantage. And we're pulling down them strongholds. We're pulling down them barriers. Yes! Alright, that's a chariot. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, that was just a flying. Alright, that's mad. I just saw something just flying. That's like a meter, right? Alright, All right, bro. Yeah, I had a chariot over my head. Bear me just a minute. See if we can catch this. Bear me just a minute. I'm just gonna close this off. Be back again. <laughs>